Hey there, welcome back. This is Jason with uh, bitnetworker.com and I wanted to create a video for you today about basic Bitcoin and cryptocurrency security and the reason why I wanted to do that is because we hear all the time about uh, Bitcoin getting hacked or stolen. We had it with the DAO with Ethereum and Mt. Gox with Bitcoin a few years back. So a lot of people are really worried about their Bitcoin and I just want to give you some basic um, security knowledge, how to protect your Bitcoin and uh, you know how to keep everything safe and how to make sure that you don't get hacked or anything like that, which inevitably is not 100% preventable. You just have to be really careful about what you do. And if you have a lot of Bitcoin, I recommend storing it offline, which I'll talk a little bit about in this video. Uh, but on this screen here, I'm just looking at a screenshot uh, that Google made for Google Authenticator. And what Google Authenticator is, is it's just basically an app on your phone you can download from the app store and it basically keeps all of your key codes for uh, your certain sites inside of here and it recycles them I don't know maybe every 30 seconds so it'll give you a new key code so when you have this enabled on these sites and most sites require it or at least um, give it as an option like Coinbase has Google two-factor authentication BitPay which is uh, a Bitcoin debit card that I have uh, when I want to log into my Bitcoin mining, it's starting to become more mainstream and on a lot of, a lot of sites. It's just a basic security measure that, pa that pairs your login with this app on your phone and you should be holding your phone. Um, so just make sure that your phone is password protected and make sure that you have this app. And I'm not going to log into any of the sites and show you how it works, but again, and basically it's going to give you a six-digit number and once you log in with your username and password or your email and password, it's going to say, please enter your Google Authenticator code. So I just, I put it in a hot bar on my phone right down there because I use it so much. I click on it, boom, there's my code. I enter it and I'm in. That's uh, the most basic um, security application in the Bitcoin blockchain space and everybody should be using it. Of course, there's more, but this is Bitcoin for beginners. Uh, next is uh, what's called backup codes, and you see all these numbers here. This is just, uh, I believe this one's from Google. I think I got it from um, a Google account. I just uh, downloaded it off the internet, just as an example. And uh, a lot of wallets, when you set them up, it's going to say backup now. And, and you want to have a pen and a paper, and you want to have you know a notebook or something that you keep in a safe place where you can write down all these codes. I, I also screenshot them, and you can put them on a thumb drive. Uh, or in Google Drive, but I recommend uh, just keeping these because if you lose your, if your computer crashes or if you can't get into your wallet somehow, this is how you get in. Um, I have one for a Google Authenticator on certain sites too. So anytime something asks you to back up, um, do it. You know, have that pen and paper handy, write that down, don't blow it off. This is super important because if you someday you have 100 Bitcoin in your wallet and your computer crashes or gets stolen or something happens to it, um, you're going to want those codes so you can log in. So very, very, very important. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is uh, how to store your Bitcoin offline and kind of where not to store it. Don't ever store your Bitcoin on exchanges. Do not keep your currencies on these exchanges like uh, Bittrex, Bitfinex, Polyanex, some of the ones I went through earlier, uh, because that's typically where a lot of the hacking happens. So you don't want to keep your Bitcoin on that, especially if you have a lot of it. I try to keep under 10 Bitcoin on any of those exchanges at any certain time while I'm doing my trading. And then I take off, you know, whatever goes over the top of that. So don't keep your money there. It's not a good idea. And there's plenty of stories that you can read about or things that have happened, uh, like Mt. Gox, which was a big exchange hacking. Um, so you, you want to be in control of your money and you want to hold on to it or keep it in the safest place possible, which brings me to my next topic. Uh, this is uh, a Bitcoin wallet called Trezor. I'm just going to show you a couple of these. This is one that you can actually carry in your pocket and uh, it's very safe and secure and it's not, your Bitcoin is no longer on the cloud. It's no longer stored um, online. You can actually take it offline, which is really, really cool. It's kind of like putting your gold or silver in a safe where you only have the key code to. And there's also another one called Ledger. These are the two most popular right now. Um, you can get the Trezor from Trezor.io, T-R-E-Z-O-R, or Ledger from LedgerWallet.com. Uh, these are both state-of-the-art applications. So that's kind of uh, Bitcoin security in a nutshell. Uh, just, you know, don't be downloading site stuff from torrents or sites like the Pirate Bay or anything like that. And uh, just 
if you're using a Windows, make sure your antivirus software is running all the time. Again, you're not going to be able to stay 100% safe, but uh, just be more safe in your habits, how you browse, you know, what you browse. Uh, don't be hanging out on hacker forums and things like that uh, because these people are all about Bitcoin. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's just kind of uh, Bitcoin basic security in a nutshell. This is an entire language that you have to learn, um, you know, from how a wallet works to how an exchange works to how security works. Bitcoin, a blockchain, it's a language and you have to develop it. And the best way that you can do that is just to plug into trainings like this and learn it. So uh, if you want to learn more about Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies, how to mine, trade, invest, um, how to position yourself in front of this uh, massive financial shift that we're all going through right now, and uh, come out on top of the coming digital currency wars, and that's really what it looks like is happening if you pay attention to the markets these days, just go to bitnetworker.com and uh, click join or subscribe, and there's a lot more information for you to go through there. All right, thank you, take care, and we'll talk to you soon. Aloha.